for the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel. We've got the King of Cups and it's with the Ten of Cups. Now this King of Cups, it speaks of a balanced male and feminine energy. It holds all positive quality, qualities of both masculine and feminine. Masculine and feminine. This card indicates, well, if it is talking about an actual person in your life, an actual man in your life, usually it's referring to a very kind and loving man. And he'll probably have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen. The King of Cups, it's all about kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is. So nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. So it's a very good card on the tarot. Now, let's clarify this card. And it has a Ten of Cups right below it. Now, this is one of the most uplifting cards in the tarot. Ten of Cups. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups. And you got it, Gemini. So it points to happiness. Perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. Um, it's a really good card in the tarot. It speaks of happy family life, even if you're single. To the overall well-being that goes beyond you yourself to include those that you, you're concerned about, such as your parents, siblings, children, and much more, your pets. Also, being spiritually fulfilled is a part of this picture here. Once again, it's a really good card to see, regardless of any question. Ten of Cups is the top, one of the tops in the tarot. So basically for the present time, coming up, King of Cups and Ten of Cups. There's some type of dream that's coming true with this Ten of Cups here. And it could be a person coming towards you or your person that's very warm, friendly, and tolerant with this King of Cups. That makes, it, makes everything feels like a dream come true. So let's move on over and let's get some more information on this and take a look at how they see you. If you're dealing with someone, your person, they see you as justice and they also see you as knight of cups. Now justice is an interesting card. It deals with the ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Because sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone that we care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. Also, if you're directly involved in, in a court case, some type of court situation, it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So, Justice, the card below this is Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is very optimistic. Very good card to get in reading. It often comes with bearing messages. Some type of message. Some type of news is coming in. Now, usually with this Knight of Cups, it's the kind of good news that we all want to receive. It tells you that things are going well and you'll be feeling charged up. You got up and ready you'll be feel, you'll be feeling charged up and ready for action. Now once again this card often means good news, particularly in the realm of matters of the heart. So it's likely to be headed your way soon. And I say soon because if you can see the picture, this man, he's on this fish. It looks like a really big fish. He's in the lake and he's charged up and he's 
ready to take action. He's coming towards you really fast. And it's all good. With the Knight of Cups, it's all good. So, they see you, the person you're dealing with. Justice, some type of clarity and truth has come in with justice. Justice also means that mean that um, you think you have the right to do so. Justice has finally been served. Because it's with the Knight of Cups, which is about someone being romantic and very sensitive. Someone wants to um, come in and offer you a cup of love. Someone could be sending you love messages or it looks like someone's charging in to be romantic and sensitive towards you. So this is how they see you. So they see you come, wanting to come in and offer you a cup of love. And you feel justified. You feel like you have the right to do so. For some reason, you feel like, yeah, this is the right thing to do. Uh, maybe you found out some truth. But they see you coming in wanting to um, be romantic. Very loving. And you could just be, like I said, um, sending them love messages or love letters. But it looks like you're charging in really fast. And yeah, you feel justified in doing so. So let's move on over and let's take a look at how you see them. Now you see your person as the Eight of Swords and Lovers. Now, when the Eight of Swords appears, as you can see in this picture, it's about holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future or because you are weary, you're afraid of getting hurt by a new situation. Or it could be for no reason at all. So it's about thinking through what it is you're afraid of and pick it apart because the truth of the situations are probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. Because if you can see the picture in this card, right above where it says you see them, this man, he's got all these swords surrounding him. And there's a fire behind him, coming towards him. And he's just stuck there. For no reason at all. He could easily put one foot in front of the other and run, but he's not. So, you see them, you see your person like this. You see them in their head about you or about some situation that's going on between the two of you. Now, you also see them as lover's card. Now, this lover's card is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. It's possible that when this card appears, you're feeling really ambivalent about a relationship or situation. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. In general, the thing to do is within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that any of us operate under at a time. And that's either fear or love. And it's saying it's safe to choose love when you get the lover's card. Yeah, it's a time when it's likely to bring love and capital letters to the center stage of your life. So this is either a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. Yeah, so you see them, you see them as falling in love with you and they're actually afraid. Yep, they're afraid because that's why the Eight of Swords is there. They're stuck in their head about this love. Mm. Yeah, because the Lover's card is really deep. It's a deep partnership. It's a deep love. It's 
the strength of two. It's a union, it's a coming together, and they're, they're afraid of moving into the future with you, Gemini. They're scared of this love. So, let's move on over. And let's take a look at why, why this is happening. It's happening due to the Three of Swords and the Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Swords, it's showing an element of sorrow that's undeniable. But what's on the other side of this sorrow, it can be enhanced understanding and a lot of joy. So make sure you allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that comes up so that you can move past it. This can point to a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. So if you deny any pain, it won't make it go away. So once again, allow yourself to experience any pain, sadness, depression that comes up now. But don't wallow in it because you do not and you should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. And I say this because you can get st stuck there for not only weeks but years if you decide to if you decide to uh, wallow in it yeah you can get stuck and you wake up every morning thinking uh, this is the new normal and it's not so however you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough and others can't decide that for you so basically why it's happening. There's some shutting each other out. That's what it looks like with the Three of Swords. Some type of relationship difficulty. Maybe some rejection here with the Three of Swords. Now it's clarified with the Three of Wands, which is a great card in the tarot. It's about growth, looking ahead, expansion. So with the Three of Wands, it's about fun. It's about it could be about your finances. They're going much better. In fact, this could actually be the month that you find your ship has finally come in. And you're likely to be feeling very strong with a good reason. So you may finally start experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulties. Very positive, in a very positive way this card is. Yeah, very positive. So why it's happening? Like I said, some relationship difficulties with this Three of Swords and it's with the Three of Wands. So there's growth here. There's teamwork. There's going to if it isn't now, it's going to be. It's going to be teamwork and expansion. So let's recap this reading for the present time. We've got the King of Cups, a very loving, supportive person. And with the Ten of Cups, for the present time, everything is well. Everything is good. You really don't have anything to worry about. You and your person, you're on the same page with the Ten of Cups here. And King of Cups. There's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of love there too and support. And as for they see you, they see you wanting to come in with you, offering a cup of love with the Knight of Cups and you feel justified in doing so. You feel like it's the right thing to do. And once again, you see them as afraid of this love. Because it's, it's a deep union. It's not just a fly by night. It is not with the lover's card. And they're scared. They're stuck in their head. That's how you see them. But then we've got this three of swords. Some sadness and depression. Hmm. Some sadness and depression. But then the Three of Wands is here, so things turn around for the better. And it feels like the sh your ship has finally come in. 
So this sadness and depression, it, it has to be a part of how you see them. But it turns around, like I said, for the better. And then you two start to grow and expand. Yeah, maybe this is the first time they've experienced such a powerful love. Because I can only connect that Three of Swords with the, um, the Eight of Swords that we talked about. How you see them as having, um, is holding themselves back. So it must be causing some depression. Or somebody's going through some depression. But I'm connecting it with your person, how you see them. So they've got some depression over this deep love. Like I said, it must be their first. Because <laughs> they're um, running scared. And then they have bouts of sadness. Because I guess it's new to them. Yeah, you got a lot of cups in this reading. So there's a lot of love here. Gemini's. And then like I said, for, for why it's happening, it turns around for the better. This, this, um, your person who's stuck in their head. And uh, who's ever got this sadness and depression. The Three of Wands, it feels like your ship has finally come in. Everything turns around. So your person is not as stuck as they used to be. And whoever was having the sadness and the grief, it changes. And then you've got, and then it, it turns around to teamwork. You guys expand and then you grow. <laughs>